But the cost of liberty is more than money. Star-shaped fort, very bottom of the monument. Castlewood never fired a shot, built solid of concrete. Castlewood honors Colonel Eleazar Daniel Wood, who gave his life for this country in the War of 1812. Will you remember two out of those who laid out their lives to secure your liberty? No one born here ever chose to be. Choose no circumstance of your birth. To be born in this time and place is a great gift. A statue a great gift from the people of France to the people of the United States. Not a government project on either side, privately funded on both. The French scholars who started it knew, for all its faults, the United States offers a gift to the world. Why else would people risk everything for a chance to live here, even illegally? These are very divisive times. People are much happier fighting with each other than listening to each other. It seems. All I'm saying is when you encounter someone coming from a different place, geographically, politically, religiously, racially, wherever our opinions differ, can we please remember, our liberty is a great gift, Let's be more grateful for our liberty and each other. Let's be more gracious with our liberty and each other, especially short guys. Let's be more generous with it. We've got it. They need it. Who wouldn't want it if they had any chance they could get? Approaching us now, ahead of us towards our right side, or starboard side if you want to get all nautical, the Staten Island Ferry, orange, white, and blue. You ever wonder? Royal blue. White for purity. The Royal Dutch family is named the House of Orange. Actually governing the Dutch people, democratically elected State General Assembly in Dutch, the Staten Canada. Most of the sports scenes in the Assyria, the city flag, the Staten Island Ferry are all blue, white, and orange. Pardon us, our Dutch roots are showing. Governor's Island here, right? Well, that's where the Dutch and British governors ruled from. Sort of. The left third of it. The Dutch and the British fought over the harbor off and on six decades. Hence, the New York State nickname is the Empire State. Then we win our independence. Who knew? Big party last week. Sorry you missed it. This island became the U.S. Army base from 1789 through 1966. The Army Corps of Engineers had a big presence here. You know engineers. They like a monkey with stuff. They tripled the size of it. The right two-thirds of the island is landfill. Then it was a Coast Guard base three decades. A $500 million makeover later, it's a hybrid of a national park and city park. Here, right, government subsidized housing for artists and residents, a theatric concert venue, a maritime a career in high school. The miniature golf course doubles as a sculpture garden. The campground's kind of new. They call it lamping. You're combining the words glamorous and camping. I call it Manhattan hotel room places for tent. Susan! <laughs> Athletic fields, food courts, picnic garden, beer garden. Oh, the outdoor ice skating rink. It's not really ice. It's a synthetic polymer. You can skate on it, but it doesn't melt. At least in this heat. Food court, picnic garden, beer garden, zip lines, slides, rent to bikes. You get the idea. It's family fun for everyone. The website, govisland.com. Go for Oscar Victor. Govisland.com. Pull up some information. Sure, part of New York 